Hey everybody, this video brings us into my home once again. So, um, what's on the agenda for today? I, you know, I was going to go out and film something. Um, there, there's, there is something I, I want to film, something I, I had kind of anticipated on filming by now since I've been down here for, I guess, well, not, not quite a week yet. But, um, you know, I've been running errands, I've been getting stuff done. And I was going to go out and film that thing today. I'm not going to tell you what it is because I am going to eventually film it. It's a really cool, um, you know, piece of history and, and, and whatnot that I want to show you guys. And we'll get into all that eventually. But, but right now, I feel like I just, I have to just be working on the house. Like, I just, it's it's a disaster. You ready for this? I mean, the the room, this is the, this is the spare, the spare guest room. This is the, this is the spare bedroom. The reason why it looks like... The, I take full blame for this. Do not take this as, you know, oh, we're messy people. Danielle's messy. Not, absolutely not. We're very, we, we are very much a, a place for everything and everything in its place kind of people. We want everything to be straightened, cleaned, looking nice. This house needs to be looking pristine. And this is driving us crazy. Things like, you know, the bedroom, this room, the living room, the garage, everything being a mess is driving us nuts. It really honestly is. It's driving me crazy. It's driving her crazy. We don't like this. We hate this. But, like, I fully take, I, I take blame for this because this is all my stuff. This is all my, like, I started to, I, I, for some crazy reason, I thought, oh, I could fit all my stuff, my, my library, basically, in here and then work on the library out there and bring stuff from in here out there. That did not work. After I put these shelves in here, I very quickly realized, oh, like, I'm not going to be able to even come remotely close to fitting everything in here. So I started to put stuff in here and then just realize, okay, things have to go out in the garage. You saw the garage. Well, I'll show it to you later again. The gar I have no idea what that was. The garage, <laughs> I don't know what makes that sound. The garage was, um, was crazy. It, it just, it, again, it's, it's, it's full of stuff and, um, it, yeah, anyway, it's a mess. So I, I need to, we need to get rid of, get rid of, get rid of this. I, I, I have to, to figure this out. So again, I take full blame for this. I started putting stuff in here. Danielle wasn't able to like access the closet properly and she started putting clothes in here and just boxes started to get piled up basically because again, I've, I'm taking full blame because I started to put my stuff everywhere. We, you know, Danielle couldn't put her stuff away, couldn't put stuff where it belongs. I blocked things. It just, stuff just started to get piled and it became a giant mess. It just became like, okay, things just need to be put down on the ground because that's the only room we have for, have for stuff at the moment. So I need to start cleaning this up. I need to get rid of this stuff. We need to bring this room at least back to somewhat normalcy so we can start putting the clothes away either into the main closet or into the, the spare closet. Danielle kind of uses that spare closet for like her, some of her more like fancier, nicer dresses and her like dress shoes, which are like, you know, here now. So that's my goal for today. My goal for today is to start to get this clean, I think. I'm, I think I'm trying to, I, I don't even know how to start this. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into the garage. I'm going to start going through those bins. Some of those bins, a lot of those bins we have to go through. We have to figure out what's getting donated. What's, what's staying, what is, you know, being put where into storage, what's being just thrown out. I'm going to start putting those bins here. I'm just going to pile them up, which I know is going to be in the way of the hallway. I mean, we're still going to be able to walk through, not a big deal. I'm going to pile them up here. That's what I'm going to do because I need to go through all that stuff. I need to figure out what is there. Some of that stuff goes up in the attic because some of it is um, holiday stuff. Once I once I do that, I can then take down the shelf. Like there's um, like you know those plastic shelves you put together. I can take those down, get those out of the way, and I can start putting some of my shelves up. Start putting some of my movies on them. Once I get some boxes out of the way, I can and boxes and shelves out of the way. I can take these, bring those out into the, into the garage. So I think that's my main goal. Just get those bins out of the way free up some space so that way I can start bringing some of the stuff out there. And then once I once I free up this area, I can take those bins and put them in here, which they won't take up nearly as much space. Plus it'll look nicer because they'll just be stacked. I mean, yes, they're not going to stay there. We don't want them there, but they'll just be stacked and looking kind of okay. So that's my goal today. Get those bins out of the way and then we'll see how much further I get after that. So, all right, I'm going to get started on, on the bins. So as you can see, we even have stuff piled up out here because again things just can't get put away at the moment this is my new tool chest by the way I'm, lo I'm loving this see the um those new dividers they only fit into this drawer and that drawer they i i need something that's only like one inch tall to fit in those i'm gonna i'm gonna try to figure i'm gonna try to figure that out to find something that fits in there but these uh these work for the um the thicker drawers so yeah look at look at that i'm loving my new my new oh i 
Oh, that smell of like grease and tools. <laughs> it reminds me of being a kid and going through my dad's um, toolbox. So that's awesome. Yeah, this is this is working quite nicely. I got a little bit more like um, organization in the in the form of like I don't know, dividers would be nice, but uh, we'll we'll, get, we'll worry about that later. That's not just a big deal. All right, so again, the garage. <laughs> Yikes! This is very daunting. So not going to worry about this for now. I'm going to worry about, worry about this for now. This this whole section right here is my main concern at the moment. Granted, the bikes and the power wheels are going to have to just stay here for now. I'm just going to put them like maybe against the against the door for right now. Those have to stay. We get we're going to the bikes are going to go in a like a bike storage shed thing. We're going to put outside, and uh, the power wheels are going to sell. We don't need these anymore. We don't want these anymore. Max has outgrown them. We're going to get rid of those. Uh, there's, there's four of them. Jeez. Um, so if, any, if anybody in the area, in the Orlando area is looking for power wheels, hit me up. We'll sell them to you for cheap because we got to get rid of them. So, uh, and this stuff over here is getting donated. So that's got to go to Goodwill at some point. So anyway, these, all these bins here, these bins on these, these shelves over here, these like plastic shelves, that's what I have to go through. That's what I have to figure out. What's going in the attic? What's not like, what's, what's, what's what? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to focus on all of this today. If, even if I can just get through this, I'll be pretty happy. And just clear, clear up this space. This whole area here needs to be clear. Then I could probably slide some of the stuff over this way. I can even start putting shelves here. I can start putting shelves that way as well. I can really start putting shelves up, which then can free up these boxes and whatnot. These are, this is all stuff I have for, for sale. But that stuff is going to go like kind of along here. So... By doing this, I can organize and free up space. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna get started. Got to go through all these bins. That's that's what I'm gonna start doing. So, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna start doing this. Okay, so that only took about I'd say um, a half hour or so to um, to get one one rack cleared off. So there you go, one one rack cleared off. I do have some stuff to put up into the. Um, the attic right now. Although with that being said, I'm finding, um, or I'm getting concerned, I should say. So I, I found some, you know, like, I don't know, like decor that can go up in the attic. Right now, the attic is basically nothing more than um, outside holiday decor with the exception of like, some, we have the Christmas trees up there as well. But for the most part, it's, um, it's all holiday stuff up there and it's all outdoor holiday stuff. The indoor holiday stuff, we got to figure something else out probably for, um, for the, I don't even know where, I, I, I'm still learning where the lights are in this house and everything. <laughs> anyway, so right now all the indoor holiday stuff is, is in here. I'm thinking this is probably just going to become uh, Christmas and Halloween. Because right now it's Christmas, Halloween, Easter, I think like Thanksgiving. And I, I believe she decorates for um, St. Patrick's Day. There's other, there's other holidays in here. So I'm thinking... Some of this stuff is probably going to have to go up into the attic. It's just, it's just going to have to, because that, that room is quite, quite full. Danielle really likes um, decorating for the holidays. But I found this bin here out in the garage. Looks like all Halloween stuff. This bin here is full of Christmas stuff. So I, you know, I don't even know if she's keeping this. I, I mean, again, the stuff was in the garage. Maybe this is stuff she's like, oh, I don't want this anymore. I believe these are all like vintage Christmas ornaments in there. So, um, yeah, if this is all stuff we're keeping, we're going to have to figure something else out with the, uh, with the, um, like coat closet or whatever, whatever this is, whatever this is over here, because, uh, as you can see, it's quite, quite full. Maybe like one more pin can go in here and that's about it. And then the door just won't shut. So we're going to have to figure something else out because that's a lot of, that's a heck of a lot of ornaments and, and decor and, and whatnot. And again, if this is also staying, I, I don't know. And it, again, we, we got room, we have room in the attic. In fact, I'm actually thinking I'm going to have a little bit more room in the attic. So when they did the attic, the attic only, I'll, I'll go up and show you. The attic only kind of goes like from like there to like there. There's all the space over here or, or no, wait, I'm, I'm wrong. It's like from like there to maybe like over over there. So it's a big it's a big area, but it's not all the way to the one side. It's not all the way to the other side. Just because in, in Florida, you don't just do like an A-frame. It's like an A-frame 
with a thousand beams coming down because you get hurricanes here and they don't want your roof ripping off. So it's not like your typical Pennsylvania attic or maybe Northern attic if you're used to living up north where you walk up into your attic and it's just, you know, it's essentially an A-frame. It's all just, it's just open, um, which is how my attic in Pennsylvania was. It was only a crawl space attic, but still it's just an A-frame you could crawl up into and store stuff into. Here I can actually stand up, I think in there, um, but that kind of space is wasted. So what I'm gonna do when I take these racks down, I think I'm gonna take these, these metal grates here and actually like lay them onto the, um, the beams, the, um, what's what I'm looking for, the, whatever, the beams I'm going to lay on to, so I can store stuff kind of like over in that section as well. Then I don't, I don't know. I'll go up and show you. So anyway, <laughs> I'm just, ideas rolling around in my head. So more storage probably coming to the attic very soon. As soon as I take these down. All right. Anyway, half hour later, one, one rack done. I'm going to take this apart, get started on the other racks. But for right now, I'm going to take stuff and put it up in the attic because uh, some of this stuff does go up in the attic. I just want to show this off, by the way. I got very, very lucky with this uh, shelf I, I put here because um, it was almost to the point where I was not going to be able to get the, the ladder to the attic down because of the, the shelf I put here. So we got like, I don't know, quarter of an inch to spare. And then I would have been out of out of luck. So this is the attic. Oh, wow. It's um that's a that's a first. It's very cool up here. I, I wanna I just wanna hang out up in the attic right now. Wow, it is it's actually like maybe like 60 something degrees up here, probably. It feels good up here right now. Usually when you come up in the attic, it's sweltering. No, this feels great. It's actually colder in here than it is in the garage for some reason. That's that's weird. Anyway, so this is this is the attic. This is what we had installed. You can see how the it is an A-frame, but with all these other things coming down that you would not typically see, or at least not in an older house up north. So all the outdoor decor is up here. So my plan is, you can see I already kind of threw a couple things over there. I'm going to um probably move some of this fluff or fluff it or I don't know, flatten it out a little bit more and put the um those grates kind of like over over in this area. So then I can take stuff and kind of set it up sort of over over there. I can essentially use this area here. Maybe not all the way back because I won't be able to get back there. Although I kind of wish maybe, I should have told him to put some, some wood down over there as well. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll put wood down. I don't know. Anyway, so I think for right now though, I'm just going to use those grates. We have the grates. They're going to just get tossed anyway. So I'm going to use them, put them down. Over there, you can't see all the beams. There's like two beams there, but they go all the way across. And then that way I can stick some stuff over there as well to, um, to use as storage. And then it goes way back there as well, but there's all kinds of heating ducts and cooling ducts and whatnot back there. So we can't actually use that. But anyway, so the attic. All right, I like this. I'm glad we had this installed. This, is, um, this attic is really coming handy with, uh, with storage. And like I said, hopefully eventually it'll come in even more handy. You can see how big, like, the attic, like, look at that, goes way back, way back there. There's a hole, like, there was a, there's a crawl space, there's, or, like, a, like, a hole right here. That was the original entrance to the attic. And I remember the first time I ever came up here, I was thinking, like, okay, a little crawl space or something. And I, I opened it up, I popped pop my head up, and I'm like, there's a room up here. There's a, you can put a bedroom up here. So I was like, yeah, we gotta, we gotta pay somebody to, um, to put a put an attic in. I mean, yeah, I could have done it myself, but eh, I, I didn't have time. I was still in Pennsylvania, traveling back and forth. I was like, just pay somebody, get them to do this. So cool. Anyway, all right, I do have some stuff to put up here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that now. Oh, okay, I'm tired now. I'm thinking it's time for a lunch break. It's about eleven o'clock in the morning, and I've not actually eaten anything today. So I'm going to uh, I'm gonna go grab some lunch. So I have actually gotten two and a half shelves done. I have one and a half more shelves to go. I want to get these done today. I want to get all this stuff put into the, the hallway, although I'm running in a room in the hallway, but I'm going to get all this stuff put into the hallway. This stuff kind of put up against like the, not right on the door, but up, uh, up against kind of near the door. I want to get maybe this cleared off and put up into the, um, the attic. I've actually been putting these in the, uh, in the attic. I have closed the attic up for, for the time being, but I'll, I'll show you that later. So I've, I've been putting these up in the attic because unfortunately I took down one of the metal grades to the racks and 
It's literally one inch too big to fit through that opening. Well, fit through the opening with the with the ladder. If I if I took the ladder off the hinges and then got, you know, this ladder out and put it up and carried them up into there, I could technically get these into the attic, but then I have to take the door off its hinges. And that, that's a whole thing. That's like a day process just in of itself. And I kind of don't want to do that. So uh, for right now, I'm not going to use these. I've actually, I'm putting these down kind of on the, um, so, sort of on the, on the, on the wood. I, again, I'll, I'll show you when, when we go up in the attic, but I've been putting these down and it's been working. So I've been reusing these, those shelving units there. So anyway, all right. <sighs> Again, I'm I'm beat right now. I've I've been just walking back and forth and going up and down the attic, and it's actually getting quite warm up there now. So I'm gonna go get some food, come back, finish these shelves, get this stuff organized, and then and then I'll be happy. I don't actually know if I'm gonna start taking stuff out of the uh, the spare bedroom yet. I don't know. I'm like I'm torn on that. Do I want to start actually taking the time to take stuff out of there? bring it into here, or do I just want to really focus on this, get this taken care of today, and then maybe tomorrow I'll start working on getting the stuff out of the guest bedroom and put into this bedroom. That's kind of what I'm leaning towards. I don't want to, I don't want to like strain myself. I don't want to, I don't want that at the, at the end of the day, I'm like, I, okay, I'm in pain. And then wake up the next morning and be like, I don't want to do anything because I hurt too much. I don't, I don't want to do that. I want to, I want to work hard. I want to get a lot done, but I don't want to like overdo it. So that's what I'm thinking. Focus on this, get all the stuff that I want out of here, out of here, and then tomorrow get the stuff out of the, the spare bedroom I want out of the spare bedroom and put it into here. <sighs> all right, anyway, like I said, I'm, I'm beat, but I'm, I'm also really hungry, so I'm gonna go get some food and then come back and finish this. Okay, back home. I did run out to McDonald's quickly. Why I keep eating McDonald's, I don't know. I guess due to convenience and laziness, but anyway, worst food ever. So um, came back home, got the uh, filing cabinet moved into the uh, the spare bedroom, the old, not really filing cabinet, set of drawers we'll put somewhere else. We need this because we have files and important papers and whatnot we have to, um, we have to store. And as you can see, I am running out of space here in the main hallway. This stuff here cannot stay here. We need access to the pantry. So where this is going, I don't, I don't know yet, but um, anyway, running out of room, unfortunately. So I have gotten another another shelving unit taken care of. One more to go, and then that's all done. And then up here in the um, attic, which by the way, is now really, really warm. It's crazy how it's gone from kind of warm down here to rather cool up there to the exact opposite in the last like hour. Now it's about 4,000 degrees up here in the attic. Oh, oh yeah, it is, <laughs> it is brutally warm up here. Anyway, so I've been taking the, um, the shelves and doing that, just kind of putting them like that so I can store some stuff sort of in the, um, the V shape of the, the wood. I'm sure these have names, the framing, the, the V of the framing. I've been putting those in there just so I can store store stuff in there. I put another shelf back there. The white shelf is going to go right there because that's a smaller space for some reason than right there. So yeah, anyway, it's been, ugh, it's been crazy. So much work getting done. These have to go up there. Okay, that's that white shelf that's going to go up there. And then for the most part, I'm kind of done for the day. At that point, I'm going to clean up a little bit. Again, this stuff has to kind of go more up against the uh, the garage door. This is all my stuff I'm gonna kind of push over. And then tomorrow, maybe I can get around to like putting some shelves together, bringing some of the stuff from the other room into this room. <sighs> but uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm tired. Again, that, that McDonald's maybe wasn't the best I, idea when I'm running around this much, but all right, things are getting done. We're moving forward. You gotta, like, I don't know, it's one of those things where, you know, you gotta, you gotta spend money to make money. In my opinion, you have to make a mess to clean up your mess. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm kind of, I'm kind of making a mess where I'm putting all that stuff in the hallway for now, but I'm doing that again to clean up the mess because 
in a couple of days from now, that stuff in the hallway won't be there anymore. It'll be stacked up very nice and neatly in the, the guest bedroom. Then we can start making the guest bedroom more presentable again. We can bring it back to its former glory of an actual guest bedroom slash office. I can put, put my computer in there, and my printer, which I'm really looking forward to doing. And then again, all that stuff will come out here. This can all start getting put away, straightened up. It's, a, it's an ongoing process. So, all right, I'm gonna get this stuff put up into the attic. I'm gonna get this last shelf taken care of, this stuff moved, and then I gotta figure out what I'm doing with the stuff in front of the pantry, because as of right now, I don't know. All right, guys, so I'm thinking that's just about gonna do it for this video. I did get all of the shelves taken down. Everything that's on them has either been put up into the attic because they were outdoor Christmas decorations or everything else has been put over into, into the, uh, the hallway, which is kind of a mess right now, but it'll be that way for the next uh, couple of days until I get everything taken out of the spare bedroom and brought into here. All this stuff is not staying. Everything over there is getting donated. These are eventually getting sold. I have to take photos of them and put them onto like Facebook Marketplace. Or again, if you're in the Orlando area and you're looking for very cheap Power Wheels, contact me because um, all, the, uh, all the Power Wheels here are for sale. And then the, uh, the bikes will be going into a, um, like a bike shed out back at some point as well. So. Pretty much everything I wanted to get done has been gotten done. There are um, these here I have to put together and put out onto the patio. So maybe I'll do that today. My my errands for the for the day, my my working around the house for today, is not done. It's not done by by a long shot. I guarantee you. In the next five minutes, I'll go. Oh, I could hang that photo, or I could rearrange this, or I could take that down, or I could wh whatever. I just. That's the way my life will be for the next couple of months. I'm constantly going to be doing things around the house. And for the last week, that's what I've been doing. Every day, I've been, I've just been doing stuff around the house. I've been moving this, I've been moving that, and putting this away, putting that away, just rearranging things, getting everything, trying to get everything put into place, basically get all my crap moved and put where it needs to be put because right now it's all pretty much here and in the guest bedroom, which is not really working. So. <sighs> there's a lot to um, a lot to be done and a lot to continuously be done. So I'm going to go find something else to work on. But what I really wanted to show you guys was the beginnings of the library, because this is the first the first step. I, I th this is the first step in getting parts of the library done. I wanted to get those shelves out of here. They're now out of here. I can technically put up some shelves here and then run some shelves along here as well, if I want to get started on that. In fact, maybe tomorrow I'll do that. The shelves are behind all of all of these and there's, st uh, and there's stuff piled on top of them, but the shelves are right here. I, I can get to them. It's not the most easiest thing to do, but I can get to them. Maybe I'll start, maybe I'll start doing that tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow I'll start, uh, I'll start putting some of the shelves together or maybe not, who knows, maybe even tonight I will, or maybe not, I don't know. We'll see, but I can start doing that now, which is exciting. And which is good. So, all right, guys. With that, I am. I'm done in the garage. I'm done in the attic again. It's like four thousand degrees up there. I've. Whew, I was getting quite, uh, quite sweaty up there in the uh, up there in the attic. It went from like beautiful, like sixty sixty degree weather in the attic to like six hundred degree weather in the attic. Ugh. Yeah. This is gonna be. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. So, that's what I get to see every time I walk into the house. I already took a picture and sent it to Danielle, and she's like, oh boy, I, I know. It's going to be a couple more days, and then eventually all of this will be in here. And all of this will be cleaned up. There won't be clothes everywhere. They'll be hung up, put into the closet, which, they're, again, there's, stu there's stuff in the closet right now, which is the issue. That's why clothes aren't hung up, because there's stuff in the closet that has to be taken out. So we'll do that. We'll hang on the clothes up. I'll start getting my stuff, which is all like this, all this, all that over there, all that stuff. I'll get taken, taken out of here, put into the garage, and then I can take those, stack them up very nice and neatly in here, and we'll have this whole big open floor space. We can get back to the desk. We can take all the crap that's in here, that's staying in here, reorganize it, finally put it away, and everything's going to be good. So you might not be able to see it. I know to you it might look like a disaster of a room, a disaster of a hallway 
a disaster of a, of a garage, but I assure you, I can see it. Every time I put something away, every time I straighten something up, every time I put something where I want it to go, I can see it. I can see it, how, how it's going to look. I can see it getting just a little bit closer to how I eventually want the house to look. So I'm on a roll, guys. I'm on a roll. It's a, it's a slow roll, but it's a, it's a roll and it's coming along. So all right, guys, with that again, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to go get, I'm, I don't know, I'm going to, I think I'm going to eat some ice cream. I think I, I, think I earned some, some Hagen dazs right now. <laughs> I got some in the freezer. So I'm going to sit down, cool off with some Hagen dazs and a water and just relax for a little bit. And then I'm going to look around the house and find another project probably to start working on. So, all right, guys, again, with that, we are done. So, again, wanted to show you guys again, the, the, the start, the beginning of, of the library, the new retro rest stop library. I don't know why I didn't just keep doing this video out here in the garage, but wanted to show you the beginnings. This is it. This is the beginnings. I, I got stuff moved. I have got stuff taken away. All this stuff here is gone. I had stuff over here at 1.2. All this stuff is gone. I can really start getting, getting working on, on setting this up. I don't know how I'm gonna do it because all my movies are, all my movies are in the corner and like all this stuff is in the way, but I will figure it out. I will figure this out and I will get it done. And slowly but surely the library will come together. But all right, Hagen Dazs time. So as always guys, thank you so much for checking out this video of me moving, moving shelves. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video on me moving shells. I appreciate it. Uh, be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will say, oh, I forgot about those. I can't, I can't get to those right now. Those have to be taken down and put into the spare bedroom as well. More stuff we have to go through. That's a giant Christmas tree that has to go up into the attic at some point, which I want to find a better container for. Anyway, so um, what was I saying? Oh yeah. Uh, if you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt, where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts, proceeds, both from Spreadshirt. I found this out on the lawn. Both from Spreadshirt. I think it's from the, the old, we had neighbor. I know I keep talking. We had old neighbors. Ne well, we had neighbors next door with these demon children. And they used to throw things into our lawn. And they threw this uh, Mimikyu, right, into, into the lawn. So I, I cleaned it off, saved it. That's going to Sean. Anyway, so... Uh, what was I saying? Um, yeah, check down below for links to a uh, Spreadshirt. We're gonna pick yourself up retro rest up t-shirts, proceeds, both in the Spreadshirt and on Patreon to help support the show. And they do keep the show going. And if you guys watch this video all the way to the very end, hashtag, hashtag slowly but surely, because that's how it's coming along. Slowly but surely, don't call me Shirley. Slowly but surely, the library is, is happening. It's one little step at a time. Although that, that's, that step took a couple of hours and got me very tired and there's a lot of very heavy things, but it was a, I, I consider that a small step. So, all right, guys, like I said, check down below for the different links, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you guys do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, then I will see you in the next video. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys. Bye. All right, so it's now later on in the evening and we're trying to pick out a movie we want to watch for the night, but at the same time, Danielle's telling me we do not need to focus on building the library. There's so many other things around the house that we need to focus on and get done. And I agree. I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with you. However, we have the movies from inside this box here and inside that bin there to choose from. And that's it, because all my other movies are packed away in those boxes. But if I had the library set up, all those <laughs> movies would be on shelves, we could walk in here, we could go, ah, let's see, oh, let's pick out that movie. There'd be thousands of movies to choose from, not two little boxes of movies that I've I've already pretty much watched all the movies within. So I mean, I'm, hear you. I'm thinking we should just get the Bye. the library set up. I hear you. I mean, neither of us have seen Wonka yet. Should we watch that? Okay. All right, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna watch Wonka, but then that's it. Like everything else like I've seen or you've seen or you don't wanna watch, so I'm thinking... I mean, I barely want to watch <laughs> So in other words, we should get the library set up, right? We watched, like, the other three we watched were really good so far, so... So we should get the library set up, so we can watch all the other really good movies. All I mean, right. I'm sure Wonka's really good. I'm sure I'm going to start setting up the library tomorrow, right? No. All right, Li library. Library set up. Full library set up. Coming tomorrow.